Hi, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we'll be filming a brand new type of video by showing you how to correctly and effectively black out your boots. The boots we have here today are a pair of Nike Mercurial Vapor 10s in the leather Techcraft edition in its black and hyper pink colorway. The super soft K leather upper provided through the Techcraft treatment is without doubt one of the highest quality products on the market and in our opinion poses as almost a perfect boot through a combination of modern technologies and lightweight construction meeting with natural and premium grade materials. Blackout boots have become highly popular throughout all levels of the game, seeing both professional and non-league footballers dabbing their hand at giving their favourite boots a stealth visual. Hatton Benatha proved the perfect example during his Newcastle United days, opting to black out his Mercurial Vapor 8s. We've been hooked up by the company Blackouts, big shout out to them, with a full set of blackout equipment to transform the black and pink to an all-out blackout look. You can find a link to Blackouts website in the description below. Step 1. Our Blackouts DIY kit came with three different bottles, an acid to take away the factory finish, a black dye to coat the boots and finally a finish to seal the dye. Step 1 involves stripping away the factory finish to allow for the subsequent dye to soak into the upper. Note that the boots must be incredibly clean or new if possible for a high quality coating. We're starting by taking the laces and sock liner out of the boots before applying the acid to the hyper pink accents only as the boots were already black naturally and we didn't want to potentially damage the premium leather of the Techcraft Vapor. The DIY kit came equipped with a small brush for using throughout the process but we opted to use three for longer handles with the thinnest tip utilised to precisely apply the acid to the Nike swooshes and heel cup. You only need a little amount of the acid, especially if you're doing specific sections, and then you can carefully stroke the brush over the desired areas. So as you can see, this step will be time lapse so you can watch the process in full. Leave to dry for two or three hours before continuing to step two. Step two sees the boots ready for the first layer of dye. Again, ensure the boots are fully clean and dry. As seen within step one, we've opted to only give the hyper pink trim a coating of the dye in the first instance. So by the time it dries overnight, the boots will start with an equally black base coat. Left overnight, the boots entire upper is ready for its first full coat of dye. We've used a slightly thicker brush to efficiently stroke the dye onto the boots whilst ensuring not to over apply the dye as this will cause an uneven coat and also cause permanent stains to certain areas of the boot and also surroundings. The right idea is to have a clear starting and end point to ensure the entire boot gets coated. We opted to coat the medial panel, toe box and lateral panel before moving onto the tongue and finally the heel cut both inside and out. So again we will time lapse this step so you can see the full process in fast speed. Leave overnight to fully dry before applying the second layer of dye. Step 2.2, once left overnight to fully dry, the boots are now ready for their second full coat of dye by replicating step two exactly. Carefully and sparingly apply the dye from a starting to an end point to fully coat the boots in an even fashion. Again, make sure the dye has been evenly but not overly applied to all the chosen areas. Don't panic if some dye runs onto the sole plate, it's very water-like as the acid used in step one can be used at the finishing stages to carefully wipe the sole plate clean. Leave overnight to fully dry before applying the third and final coat of dye. Step 2.3, left overnight for the second coating of dye to fully sink into the upper and fully dry. The boots are now ready for their third and final application of dye. As with previous applications, coat all the areas you desire in an even and careful manner. Remembering that any stray dye on the sole plate can be removed by the acid used in step one. Leave overnight for a final drying session.
Step three, now at this stage where the boots have received three coats of black dye and also sufficient time to dry, you're ready to apply the finish. Note this is the time to wipe away any dye on the sole plate with the acid using step one. We use the cotton pad for doing this. Now happy with the look of the boots, step three sees the finish applied to the boots. Again, we use a new cotton pad for this and dab the finish onto the pad before gently stroking the liquid across the entire boot in an evenly coated manner. Once both boots have been finished, leave to dry for two or three hours before reinserting the sock liner and the laces ready to take to the pitch. There's our simple three step process on how to black out your boots. Please give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.